हेलो एवरी वन साई राम वेलकम टू द साइंस क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अनादर न्यू लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर थर्टीन ओके एंड द लेसन नेम इज द अर्थ एंड दिस इज पार्ट वन सो चिल्ड्रन लेट स्टार्ट येस first we will see the introduction about the earth okay okay so children tell me where do you live yes we live on the planet earth okay the earth is the third planet in our solar system we will study more about the solar system in our next chapter okay so our earth is the third planet in the solar system we are so lucky to be living on the earth now tell me why yes because our earth is different from the other planets okay like saturn uranus neptune so our earth is different from the other planets now tell me why yes because our earth has life on it okay our earth has life no other planet has life it has air and water too our earth has air and water too okay yes now atmosphere of the earth okay so now what is the meaning of atmosphere yes the earth is surrounded by a layer of gases you can see in the picture the earth is surrounded by a layer of gases the atmosphere protects our earth okay atmosphere protects our earth from the harmful rays of the sun and it also help to keep the temperature of the earth steady okay the atmosphere consist of two main gases okay our atmosphere consist of two main gases that is oxygen and nitrogen okay so there are other gases also like carbon dioxide and many other gases are present in the atmosphere but in very small quantity other gases which are present on the atmosphere they are in very small quantity but the atmosphere consists of two main gases that is oxygen and nitrogen okay yes now water on the earth so children three quarters of the earth is covered with water okay and only one quarter is land which consists of soil sand and rocks okay the ocean and the seas are the biggest bodies of salt water so children melting snow and rain flow down from high hills and mountains to form rivers okay and this is fresh water then a lake is a large body of standing water which is fresh and the a pond is a smaller body of fresh water okay so these water bodies are found in nature and they are natural now we'll see about the lands form landforms on the earth so type of landforms plain are the flat lands okay then hills and mountains are higher than plains then mountains are the highest places in the world the peak of the most mountains are covered with the snow 
then forest are the areas where many trees grow okay so which landforms are present on the earth the mountains then hills then valleys then desert then plains and plateaus okay so children this was about the introduction of the earth now we will see the layers of the earth and how earth was formed yes so children when the earth was formed it was a big ball of dust and gases okay the earth was very hot and there was no life on it okay so when children when the earth was formed it was a big ball of dust and gases and the earth was very hot and there was no life on it so as the years went by the outer part of the earth cooled down and this is where we live so children we live on the outer part of the earth now let's see the layers of the earth so uh, have a look at this picture now this is a picture of a boiled egg which is quite a common breakfast in our home right now have you ever observed your how your mothers prepare this for you yes what she did first she peels the outer layer of the earth okay right now yes and then comes a white portion and if you cut that white portion you will be able to see the yellow part right the yellow part behind that is the yolk so you can say that the egg has three layers okay the outer layer then the middle layer and the inner layer so outer layer is the shell then the middle layer is the egg white and the inner layer is what the yolk okay in the same way an apple also have three layers okay so first layer is the skin here you can see the skin of the skin of an apple then the pulp okay the pulp part and then the core okay core core contains the seed so children in the same way our earth also has three layers okay just like an egg or and the apple here you can see the outer layer the earth outer layer is called crust and the middle layer that is called mantle and the third the third layer is what core okay see in this picture also let's compare the earth layer earth's layer with the layer of an apple so outer layer is the crust middle layer is the mantle and the inner layer is the core just like the apple is having outer layer skin then the uh, middle layer pulp and the inner layer is core okay now we'll see more about the layer layers of the earth yes the first layer that is the outermost layer of the earth is called crust okay then just below the crust there is a layer called mantle okay and the just below the mantle there is a layer called core of the earth core means what the center of the earth okay yes now we'll see more about the crust so the crust is the outermost layer of the earth it contains rocks on it the crust made up of land water and other gases 
okay the crust is made up of land water and other gases the cool rocky outer part of the earth is called the crust okay the cool and the rocky outer parts means the cool rocks are present on the outer layer the cool rocky outer part of the earth is called the crust so what are the things which we can see on the crust yes we can see the land so we can say that we live on the layer crust okay we live on the crust of the earth water such as oceans seas rivers and all present on the crust okay so this is the layer where we live we live on the layer crust that is the outer layer of the earth okay now you may have heard about volcanic explosions in japan and philippines yes so children now you may think what are these volcanic explosions so children when this volcanic explosion takes place at the time magma that is called that is also called the lava flows out okay that is a red hot magma or you can say the red hot lava flows out so from where this red hot magma is coming tell me children so where uh, so from where this red hot magma is coming or the red hot lava is coming yes it comes from inside the earth okay is it comes from inside the earth that is below the crust which is called mantle okay below the crust there is a layer called mantle so at the time of volcanic eruption the red hot lava flows out from the mantle okay so children mantle is the very hot region below the crust now let's see where it lies so mantle lies lies just below the crust okay yes so it is made up of melted rocks okay now what is the meaning of melted rocks that is the rocks in a liquid state okay see children cool rocks are present on the layer crust okay that is the outer layer but the melted rocks are present on the layer mantle okay mantle is the part of the earth between the crust and the core okay core is the third layer of the earth that is the center of the earth so it is made up of hot rocks our mantle is a layer made up of hot rocks okay part of it can flow or move like chapati dough you can see this on the google also so how it flows now what comes after mantle yes core comes after mantle okay core is the inner layer of the earth this is the central portion of the earth that is the center part of the earth it comes just below the mantle it is the hottest layer okay it is the hottest layer of the earth inside the earth it is very hot it is still very hot so the center of the earth is called core it is a ball of hot metals it is the center of the earth is a ball of hot metals okay and it is the hottest layer of the earth yes so children today we learn about the layers of the earth so again i am telling 
crust is the outer layer of the earth that is the first layer this is the layer where we live and the uh, middle layer of the earth is called mantle okay this is the second layer of the earth and the third layer of the earth is what core okay this is the center of the earth i hope you understand read the lesson okay thank you and have a nice day